Hello, let's see how to connect speakers using ArduinoNet 4. To do this, you need a controller. We have two kinds of controllers available. Control 2 with USB connectivity and Control 8 with both USB or LAN TCP IP connectivity to the computers. Control 2 and Control 8 have respectively 2 and 8 outputs and it is possible to connect up to 32 devices in each port in daisy chain. When using the Control 8 via TCP IP, we could link up to 20 controllers to a single computer. Let's go to the software interface. Press Tools and Controllers and the relevant page will open. Connecting a controller via USB, RDNet will automatically recognize and match it with your workspace. I remind you also that DMA series matrix amplifiers could be connected to RDNet via USB and they will be seen as USB controllers. For more details about it, refer to the manual and to the video tutorials. Back to us. In most cases, the connection using Ethernet is more suitable because it allows to place the control aid on the stage, controlling the system directly from the front of house via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. In fact, the USB cable cannot be longer than 4 meters to work properly, while the CAT5 or, for better performances, CAT6 cables can be up to 80 meters long. Moreover, being the protocol the TCP IP, you could work with Wi-Fi network as well. Just the first time, when connected via USB, if our goal is working via CAT cables, we have to set some network parameters in the control aid. Press the Net button to change the name and the network settings. Normally, we use the control aid with a fixed IP address. Let's type 192.168.10.10 and name properly the controller. This is useful when working with more controllers. Click Send. Now the IP address is fixed and the name is given. Unplug the USB cable and reboot the controller. To discover the controller in Arduinet working with a fixed IP, you can plug directly the cable from the computer to the controller. In this case, it's mandatory to set a fixed IP address in the network setting of the computer as well. And remember that it must be in the same subnet of the controller's one. Otherwise, you will not detect it. Using routers and wireless switches, you can work in the same way, with fixed IP, or with DHCP if you need the auto-addressing function to manage other devices in the same network. For instance, consoles, processors, etc. In this case, it is convenient to set the switch DHCP network in a range of addresses on the same subnet of the one given at the controller in order to have the possibility to work with both DHCP or fixed IP detecting without problems in the same way all the devices in the network. For more details about connection and controllers, refer to the manual that can be found in the RDNet download section. That's all about connection. Thank you for watching.